Hi friends, this is Denario Research and welcome to the part number 10 of Cryptocurrency Trading Bot Tutorial. In the previous video we have discussed various types of stop losses like fixed, time-based, structure-based and volatility-based. And today we will implement volatility-based stop loss. So basically today we have two tasks. The first one we need to implement in the ATR technical indicator. And the second one, we have to create some function that will use ETR indicator for stop loss price calculation. Let's have a look at technical indicators library and check what parameters are required for ETR indicator. So, as you see, parameters are the same as for ADX indicator, so ATR needs high and low price values, as well as close price value and lookback window size. So default lookback window size is 14 periods. We have actually implemented already all these input parameters, so we can start easily implement ATR indicator. As usual, we have to start with indicator import so let's simply copy and paste this row and replace indicator name with ATR ATR ok good second thing we have to define the number of periods for indicator so we can also simply copy and paste this row TR. Okay, let's leave for now the default value, probably in the future we will adjust it. And finally we have to add ATR indicator into where properties list. ATR ATR our periods and ETR value. Well, it looks good for now. Now we can calculate indicator in update indicators function. So we can also copy row for ADX. So and replace ETX with ETR. ETR. Like I said before, ETR requires the same input parameters as ADX. So it uses close price, high price value and low price value. We have just completed the first task for today, ATR implementation, and I think we can now save code and run it to check current board performance without volatility based stop losses. So, let's go to terminal and type node f.js and run the code. So, currently we have 18 bitcoins, keeping in mind that two positions are still open, so it will be slightly more than 19 bitcoins. Ok, now we can implement volatility based stop loss and see how its performance will change after. Let's go to open low and short positions functions well here they are as you see currently we use fixed stop loss price we simply multiply close price value by some coefficient in the case of long position it 0.98 in case of short position it is 1.0 
zero two. And as we discussed in the previous video, this type of stop loss is not really efficient because it doesn't take into account support and resistance levels and volatility changes. So we have to replace this fixed stop loss with something more efficient like volatility based stop loss. In order to do that we need simply subtract from price close value the value of ATR indicator. Like pairs, pair, ATR. But this value has to be multiplied by some coefficient. Typically it is 2 or 3. Let's use 2 for now. Two. Similarly for short position, but instead of subtraction we have to add a tier indicator value. That's it. We can now save code and run it to see how per what performance has changed after we implemented volatility based stop loss. Let's go to terminal. Well, without volatility based stop loss we had approximately 2930 bitcoins. Let's see what we have with volatility based stop loss. Huh. We have an error because something wrong with stop loss price calculation. Let's check what's wrong. Here is an error. For some reason, instead of ATR value, I used ATR object. So let's fix that and run code again. Let's replace ATR object with ATR value, save, and run code again. As you see, current implementation of volatility based stop loss has not improved our strategy. So currently we have 17 plus 8 or 9 bitcoins from open position. So it even slightly less than uh, we had with fixed based stop loss. But like I said before, volatility based stop loss is more efficient way to manage risks than fixed based stop loss because stop loss is dynamically adjusted according to volatility changes. But this approach needs some optimization of course. We'll make strategy optimization once we have implemented Position Manager. Well, that's all for today. We have actually finished all planet tasks. We did ATR implementation, so we can move it into down tab. Also, we have used ATR indicator for stop loss price calculation. So we can move this task into down tab 2. Actually we have completed implementation of the risk management model, but in the future we'll optimize it of course. And in the next video we'll start implementation of the position manager. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!